Yeah. Hey y'all, what is up? And welcome back to my channel for another part of the Sims 3 to Sims 4 series where we are recreating the Sims 3 and their families in their homes in Sims 4. So today we are recreating the Clavel family and honestly, um, I almost forgot about this family. I didn't forget like about them. Obviously, I built their house and I uh, created the Sims, but I had went on a little break and I forgot that I had edited this family and for some reason I had thought I'd already uploaded it and done the voiceover and I was thinking I was almost done but I was like oh my gosh no I forgot the Clavel family and I think this family is so cute I mean I think I just think elders in the Sims 4 I just have a thing for them I think they're so freaking cute but also I just I love the dynamic in the family and just it's just so much fun to, you know, recreate Sims in this series that already have a story to tell. And then also, I think their house turned out so, so nice. But anyway, so the family description for the Clavel family, in case you aren't familiar with them, says, Xander Clavel is a party animal still living in his parents' house. Buster is tired of Xander's mooching and wants him out. Will Bessie have to choose between her son and her husband? So, this family consists of Buster Clovell and Bessie Clovell, who are elders, and their son, Xander, who is a young adult. So, we are recreating Buster now, and a little bit about Buster. His biography states that Buster has had a full life, but now he just wants some peace and quiet. The only problem is that his grown son is still living at home and always seeming to create a racket. So, he is retired from the... I do believe it was the athletic career for some reason. Um, I try to like screenshot all of their information so I can go back and read it off to you guys. But I cut off <laughs> or either it just doesn't tell me. But it says retired. But I'm pretty sure he's retired from the athletic career. And his personality is that he's a loner, family oriented, frugal, heavy sleeper, and grumpy. His lifetime wish is to live in the lap of luxury. So yeah, I just think he's so cute. <laughs> I really like his little pot belly. I don't know. I just, it's so common for, you know, grandpas to have that little belly. And I just think he's so cute. And uh, his wife, Bessie, here we are recreating now. Her um, biography states, Bessie lives modestly with her husband and grown son. She stays, wait, she mostly stays home and takes care of her men. She is somewhat of a wallflower, and others sometimes take advantage of her. And she is also retired, too, and it doesn't show me what career it was. But if I am remembering correctly, I want to say it was the journalism career. I think that's what it was, but I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure that's what it is. And her personality states that she has no sense of humor. She's good, neat, artistic, and family-oriented, and her lifetime wish is to be a master of the arts. So that is Miss Bessie. I think she's so cute. I love her long skirt and the top that I ended up picking out, which I did cut out a lot of me going back and forth really undecisive with her outfit, but she did have like a really long skirt in The Sims 3, so as usual in these families by now, you know that I don't try to match it exactly to what they look like, but I try to get as close as I can, just kind of give them a little bit of a makeover and upgrade, and I think that that skirt and that outfit turned out really cute on her, but moving on to their son, Xander. He is so handsome, like, like I, I didn't really think he was super handsome in The Sims 3, but my recreation of him... Oh my gosh, he's a little skinny on the skinny side, on the thin side, but oh my gosh, he's so cute. He's very attractive. <laughs> but his biography states that Xander still lives at home with his parents. He's a grown man who likes to party and have a good time. He's in no hurry to face life out on his own. And why move out if he's not even planning to get married? <laughs> so Xander is a young adult and he is a decoy in the criminal career track which is not good <laughs> and his personality is hot-headed commitment issues inappropriate party animal and a mooch his lifetime wish is to be a heartbreaker so yeah i mean if you know anything about me which you probably don't know me like personally but i not now i have a very good man right now thank god i finally got it right but i have a track record if you look at my past dating history of falling for these type of guys moochers party animals just 
really no motivation to do anything in life. Um, <laughs> so I think it's interesting that I'm like, oh, he's so attractive. Like he's he's attractive, but don't let the looks fool you, okay? He's obviously not doesn't have anything going for him, and it just this story kind of hits home for me just because of the family dynamic and I will explain that while we are starting on the house but uh, real quick let me kind of just explain the style of house that we're going for so the house that they live in in Sunset Valley is in Victorian style house so I do believe yeah we are in Willow Creek I did recreate it in Willow Creek just because that is the aesthetic and style houses that are in that neighborhood so I thought it would look really nice there and uh, I just love how this house turned out. I think it is so pretty. Um, I think the floor plan was always just a little weird to me. Just because from the outside, it is such a big house. It just looks big, right? But there's only two bedrooms. Um, but, you know, that's typically how houses in The Sims are made when it comes to, like, EA. <laughs> when they make their houses, especially for specific pre-creative families, they really don't put extra bedrooms or anything. So, I mean... I don't try to tweak the floor plans unless necessary, like, unless the room is just like way too extravagant and big and I need to fill up some space. Um, I don't really try to, you know, mess the floor plan up too bad. But anyways, overall, the house turned out really nice. It's very cozy and I hope you like it. But I did want to explain that to you real quick because I, I want to talk about this family dynamic and how I kind of like <laughs> relate to it in a way. Not that I'm a moocher or anything like that, but just because I said that my track record, I, I don't really pick the um, the best uh, bachelors, <laughs> the best suitors. Um, thank God I got it right. Like I said, finally, it took me like how many years? 22 when I met my boyfriend now? Yeah. I mean, I'm still young, but I went through hell. Um, but yeah, so with Xander... The reason why I think this family is like a, would be a fun family to play is just because he is a party animal. He's not a good kid. Um, he's and I say he's not a good kid. He's not a kid. He's a young adult. He needs to grow up basically. But he is in the criminal career track. So yeah, he obviously doesn't have a lot going for him. He likes to try to. He doesn't. I don't know. Maybe he's. I don't know. I'm. I've never really been in trouble with the law or done anything illegal, so I'm not sure if it's just something people enjoy doing or if this is just to him, like a day job. Maybe he just hangs out with the wrong people. Not really sure, but um, yeah, he doesn't plan on getting married. He doesn't plan on moving out anytime soon. Why would he? Because, you know, he's got it made living with mom and dad. You know, mom's cooking for him. She's cleaning up after him. And Bessie reminds me, I just... I don't, I don't want to feel like I'm gossiping or like talking about them. Don't think that I am. Um, I know everything happens for a reason and I did go through hell with my ex and his family, but, um, you know, you live and you learn. So it is in the past, it's over with, but I do want to kind of like just explain why this like resonates with me. But anyways, his mom, Bessie, just kind of babying him and, you know, feeding him and giving him somewhere to stay and just like taking care of him, treating him like a child. Um, that's not helping him. He's not giving him tough, she's not giving him the tough love that he needs to grow up and become a man. Um, which, you know, that's kind of how my ex's mom was with him. Um, granted, my ex had a drug problem, so she was kind of like catering to him and giving him money and you know, with addicts especially, you have to, you know, cut them off. You can't keep supplying their means necessary to be comfortable. You know, they have to get sick and hit rock bottom in order to change their life. And I'm, I don't know if, <laughs> I mean, obviously there's not drugs <laughs> in The Sims, um, but I know that a lot of people play with the uh, base, mental, what, base mental drugs. What's that? What is that? What is that mod called? I think I've downloaded it one time, but I don't really like to play with it because I don't like drugs. I just don't like to ruin lives with drugs, not even Sims lives, but I know a lot of people like that realistic gameplay. So, I mean, maybe he's into like smoking pot. I mean, it says he's like to party. I don't know if he would be into anything hardcore. Maybe he's just straight up a mooch. I know people who aren't necessarily bad people or, you know, they don't do anything illegal or do drugs or anything, but they just, they live with their mama until the last second possible because, you know, like he said, I'm not planning on getting married, so 
Um, I'm not going to go, <laughs> you know, find a house and waste my money when, you know, mom and dad, you've got an extra bedroom. <laughs> so just let me stay here until I find the one and then, you know, I'll, get, I'll settle down. I just feel like he kind of plays Bessie, you know, like that. You know, mom, I'm, I'm working on it. I'm, I'm trying to find a good girl. I just, I just can't find anybody for me. And she, she's just, it's her baby boy. It's her only son. And that makes it 10 times worse because it's the only child. Um, so I don't, I'm not, a, well, I'm technically a mom, but my baby hasn't gotten here yet. So I don't really know how, I, I, I don't know that level of like love yet. I mean, I love my baby. He's in my womb. <laughs> I love him so much already, but I know it's going to surpass when he's born. So I don't know. I just feel like it's hard for a mom, especially when your children aren't making the right decisions. You want to love them and be there for them and let them know that they're loved, but you also you want them to do right and I think that's like where Bessie and Buster kind of butt heads because Buster on the other hand his dad is like nah nah captain you are a grown man you need to get out of the house you need to get a job you need to you need to go you know I'm retired I'm too old for this crap <laughs> and I don't know I just I like that family dynamic because I haven't done it yet but if you want to download this family from the gallery in their house and play it in your Sims 4 gameplay, um, I will have the relationship set right. So they're going to be in their careers. They're going to have um, their skills that they would normally have in The Sims 3. And then Buster and Xander are not going to get along. They're disliked. They don't like each other. They just, yes, he loves his son and he loves his dad, but they just... <laughs> Buster's more of like a tough love kind of guy and then Bessie's kind of just like you know babies him so he has a better relationship with his mom and I would imagine that you know Buster kind of gets aggravated with Bessie too so I don't know I just think it would be kind of it's a good story to tell is what I'm trying to say and I, I don't know I just think it'd be fun and I just I get so into these families when I'm recreating them and that is why I have decided you know I am going to continue this series um, the time you're watching this, which I think the last video I uploaded of this series was the Bunch family, and I'm pretty positive. It's been a minute since I last heard, you know, edited and heard the recording of myself talking, but pretty sure I was like, oh yeah, we only have one family left, but I forgot about the Clavel family. I forgot I had to do this voiceover. <laughs> um, so after you see this family, we have one more, and it's the Alto family, and that is it for Sunset Valley, and it has been such... A fun series I love it and I am going to continue with Twinbrook I've already started on the first family they are finished um, I'm a little ahead of the game <laughs> but yeah I just I think it's so much fun to build and especially when you know the exact family that you are building the house for it just makes it so much easier to go in and decorate the house according to their personality and it's really fun to create the sims because honestly and i've said this so many times i want to do more creative sims but i've never really been into creating sims and i know a lot of people tell me oh your sims are look so good you know thank you <laughs> but i just i don't create sims a lot i really don't um i will create them for my own personal gameplay or for example if i have a let's play going on um but I don't like just go in and create random sims. I just don't. <laughs> and I really enjoy this series because I have to create the sims. And I know <laughs> what they look like in the sims 3. So it's a little bit easier for me to create them. But also like to dress them and to pick their personality traits. I don't know. It's just so much fun. <laughs> so uh, yeah. I hope you guys have enjoyed it as much as me. And I hope you guys are excited that I am continuing this with Twinbrook. Um, I do really want to do Riverview. I know I did a poll and I was like, which one do you want to see? Riverview or Twinbrook? And it was pretty even, even, but I, Twinbrook did win, thankfully, because um, I'm holding out. <laughs> I'm still holding out. I say this all the time, but I'm still holding out for a farm patch, or not farm patch, farm pack, something like that. It doesn't even have to be a farm pack. It could be any kind of pack, but I want it to have like a country southern world kind of like riverview or appaloosa plains i want stuff for barns i know we don't have horses or anything like that but if we could just get some like freaking hay bales or something just to kind of pretend we have a barn that would really help me out because most of those houses look like you know they have barns in the yard and i just felt like i wouldn't be able to really portray that and build those houses 
um, like I would want to, as detailed as I would want to. So I'm hoping that, you know, we get something like that in the future. And I, I didn't want to use CC, so that's why I'm doing Twinbrook. But anyways, yeah, it's going to be fun. And I, I'm, I'm happy. I love it. I love this series. It's my favorite, <laughs> in case you can't tell. But anyways, we are moving on to the interior of the house. And like I said, I think it turned out really nice. I think that I was a little bit intimidated at first. It's been a, it's been a minute since I have read, not read, read, what? Built <laughs> this house because I usually build them, you know, in advance. I like to be ahead of the game, even though I took like a little break. But this has been built for probably three weeks a month <laughs> so it's been a minute but I know that the the open floor plan right here well it's not really open floor plan but just how big this entry area was with the living room it was kind of intimidating <laughs> because you know in the sims 3 the original houses that they build there's a lot of space and they don't really do a good job at decorating and putting a lot of you know decorations around to fill it up so I like to do that and it's just realistic to have your house kind of like full so I was a little bit intimidated like okay where am I going to put everything but I think it turned out so nice it it just looks super cozy it looks like a house that Buster and Bessie have lived in you know their elders you know they're retired they got married a long time ago they've already had their son he's grown still at home but he's grown but this is their you know forever home they created a life in this house so I wanted it to look I don't know if the right term would be like grandma and grandpa-ish <laughs> but I really wanted it to have especially that Victorian style I wanted to you know I didn't give them a big screen TV or anything like that just because they are elders and um, this house kind of has that old timey feel to me so I gave them just a little end table with a little bitty TV on it because their living area is not very big at all which I think that was why it was kind of a weird house and a weird floor plan for me when I would you know go into this family in The Sims 3 because it's such a big open space but I didn't understand why they had the um, <laughs> the couch and the TV and everything squished over there in that uh, octagonal or whatever you would call that part of the house but anyways it works out fine and I just ended up putting a grand piano oh I okay this just reminded me I said earlier when I was talking about Bessie she wasn't in the um it wasn't the journalist career I don't think I actually think it was the music career I think she had something to do with music if I'm correct I think oh gosh I can't remember it's e because I know she has a high skill level in guitar so I, th I think it might be music but I did give her a grand piano and she didn't have a piano or anything in her original house in the sims 3 but she did have a guitar because she had like i think level 8 guitar skill um so anyways i made that other area over there just like her little music corner i was able to put the piano there i put her a guitar there as well and then i gave them you know like a little chess table and a desk area and then some bookshelves just to fill that space up and i think it looked really really nice and then of course we had the bathroom downstairs which um was kind of big so I split it into two that way I could fit a washer and dryer in the house as well but you know thankfully the good thing about the Twinbrook series or Twinbrook families and houses that I've started on Twinbrook came with and was it it was ambitions right the Sims 3 ambitions so that came with the laundry so they were kind of like the laundry pack the laundry washer dryer and all that came with ambition so all of those houses that I've been building and recreating, they already have washer and dryer somewhere in the house. So that makes it a lot easier for me. So I'm not having to like tweak the floor plan to include one. So that's good. That's that's a good thing about that neighborhood. Um, but anyways, it hasn't been too hard. You know, I thought that I would... I thought I was going to struggle trying to figure out where to put the laundry, but like I said, these houses usually are a little bit extra <laughs> when it comes to EA building them, or Maxis, I don't know, EA Maxis, Maxis, I guess it's Maxis, uh, the Sim team, they just, you know, usually give us a lot of extra space, so I'm able to, you know, include laundry in there, but anyways, moving on to the kitchen, um, I really, really like how the kitchen turned out, because 
typically, especially like floor plans nowadays, when I do a speed build and I look up floor plans, it's either going to be open concept floor plan where you can see the living room, the dining room, and the kitchen all right there together. Mm, excuse me. Or it's more um, closed floor plan, I guess you would say. <laughs> and there's a separate dining room. But I really, really like how this kitchen has the dining room in it as well. Um, and it's on the tile flooring. And there's no, like, formal dining room. I just think that's, like, really realistic. Especially to, like, older houses. <laughs> like, grandparents' houses. Um, I don't know. I, I don't know. I just, I, I like the feel of it. I, it was a vibe. <laughs> I dig it. But, <laughs> anyways, yeah. So, I'm struggling here. Because uh, I'm at the kitchen. And I like it. I think it turned out great. But now what do we talk about, you guys? What's there to talk about? Um, I guess I can just kind of talk about me. <laughs> Why not? <laughs> I think it's been a hot minute since I've given you guys an update on me and my pregnancy. I know some of you, um, or most of you, are very, very supportive. And y'all like to, you know, know how I'm doing and everything. So I'm proud to say that I am doing great. <laughs> I am today currently 26 weeks, which by the time you watch this, is I'm going to be, I'll already be in the third trimester because this should go up a week or two from when I'm doing this voiceover. I'm not really sure, but currently I'm 26 weeks today. So I have week 26, I have to finish this week, and then week 27, so two more weeks left in the second trimester, and then week 28 starts the third trimester, it is the home stretch, and you guys, I am feeling all of the, I'm feeling, I'm feeling pregnant, I look pregnant, I feel pregnant, and I don't know, I, before I got pregnant, I always thought that I just wouldn't really like <laughs> being pregnant, because you know, your, your body changes and I thought I would feel awful and it would just be miserable but I have been blessed so far I have not been sick and I know that a lot of people say it's because oh you're having a boy when you have a girl you're going to be a lot more sick but my mom was never sick with me or my brother um and I've never really been a sick person as far as like throwing up and I know that sounds kind of like weird like ew why are you talking about that but you know what I mean like I just I don't ever really get sick as far as like throwing up so hopefully in the future if I have a girl um that won't be true for me because I very much enjoy not having to deal with that I have some friends that are pregnant that are always throwing up and I feel for them I really do I did have a few weeks in the first trimester where I was really really nauseous and I didn't want to eat anything um, and that kind of sucked. It was annoying, but I never got sick, so I was blessed. It was only a few weeks, but anyways, yeah, I felt great. <laughs> I haven't really had any problems. It hasn't been too hard on me, um, but I am growing now. I'm pretty short. I'm 5'2". My torso is very short, so I feel like I, my baby's also, like, a little bit bigger than what he should be. Like, that's good. He's a healthy baby, but every appointment that I go to, he's always just a little bit bigger than the mark he should be at, which is good. It's good. It's a good thing. Um, so, anyways, I just feel, like, way more pregnant than what I am. <laughs> um, but, yeah, it's exciting because I'm getting bigger, and I can feel him, like, all day long. He's kicking and responding to touch, and he'll respond to our voices, and I just can't wait for him to get here, and, um yeah <laughs> but don't worry um i know a lot of people have asked well what are you going to do when the baby's born are you going to stop recording are you going to stop your channel um of course i'll probably take a few weeks <laughs> where i'm not recording just because i adjusting to life with a newborn i'm going to be crazy tired probably first time mom so I will be active with you guys on social media i'm sure just you know updating you but i'm probably not going to uh really do a lot of recording i may you know do a lot of pre-recording i have you know about three more months left and i don't have a job right now so you know i can do a lot of building stuff in my spare time so i could probably you know pre-record some stuff and do some voiceovers and upload it to you technically while i'm on like my little hiatus but yeah i'm not going anywhere i i love this 
community too much. I love this game too much. And I've worked too hard on my channel to give up on it. I enjoy it too much. It's just like a creative outlet for me. And it's really fun. So, I'm not going anywhere. But, anyways, moving on for me. We are upstairs now. And we just furnished Bessie and Buster's room. So, like I said, this house is two bedroom. And I think you could probably tweak the floor plan and make it probably three bedrooms. Um, but it's okay. It's just for Buster, Bessie, and Xander, so it's, it's fine. You know, this is suited for a specific family, but anyways, and Buster and Bessie's room, I think it looked really cute. I love to use that bed that, um, came with cats and dogs with the quilts. I just imagine it's more of like a Victorian style bed, but also kind of like grandma and grandpa-ish. And I did give her a little corner over there with some paintings and stuff because she does want to be like um artistic what was it artistic prodigy master of the art something like that uh, that's her lifetime wish so she does have a lot of like musical talent and she does have a few painting skills as well so i wanted to give her you know a little area to where she can you know paint and enjoy her spare time i believe that buster they're both retired buster probably likes to kick back and watch you know some football on the tv and bessie on the other hand likes to spend her time you know in the arts and doing stuff like that so anyways moving on to xander's room um yeah i think it's nice <laughs> i did give him a desk and everything i tried to make it look a little teenagerish because he never moved out so <laughs> I, I put like a pizza box I think on the desk so I can imagine him being just a little bit messy he still has posters and trophies from when he was in high school I gave him a little punching bag kind of tried to clutter his desk up a little bit maybe he you know sits there you know goes on the online dating sites <laughs> I don't know it's kind of creepy sounding um maybe he plays Fortnite. <laughs> I don't know but he he obviously is planning on you know getting getting a life anytime soon but you know if you wanted to play this family and you could definitely change that you know I know that I was that girl one time thinking oh the right girl will come along and change him I mean sometimes that can happen but sometimes it doesn't I think it it's the person that has to make the decision that they want to grow up and change themselves but anyways it's just a fun family to play fun family dynamic and here is the upstairs bathroom which was kind of spacious so as you can see i kind of just like added some walls in so it's not so like square and i think it turned out really really nice and then this upstairs landing area I just put that big grandfather clock. I believe I just put some paintings on the wall. I did put their little decoration box up there too because I imagine that, you know, Bessie would break out the decorations of the certain holidays and everything. But overall, this build is wrapping up and I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, I, I think it turned out really nice. And if you did, give it a big thumbs up. Comment, you know, all your opinions, suggestions, and everything down below. And, um subscribe if you have not. Did I say that? I don't know. <laughs> Anyways, love you guys. Thank you so much for watching and I'll talk to you later. Bye!